Steep green cliffs plunge down to the Atlantic. Travelize in Madeira, episode 3. Day 6, Levada da Serra do Fayal and Atlantic Swim. The group walk through lush laurel forests, tasting some fruit. Dan, wearing a bandana. So, day six here in Madeira, and we're back on the Lavadas. And uh, straight away, I will address my headgear. Don't worry, I, I know it's there and I know it looks ridiculous. Unfortunately, my pale and fragile English skin has succumbed to the, the roaring heat of Madeira and my ears are burnt to a crisp. Uh, I couldn't handle the sun up on Pico Oliva, and uh, so today, I need to protect myself a little bit, so I'm wearing this rather fetching headband just to just to keep me protected, you know. Don't want to blister too much more because I've blistered up like a bronze, like a Christmas turkey already, so just going to take things a bit easier today. Sighted guides lead VIs along an ancient Levada. Right, so we're on the Levada and Robert has just handed me a little flower and he assures me it's not poisonous. That's what I've been told. Right, so <laughs> according to Robert, I can eat this. Are you sure I can eat this, Robert? Uh, no. It doesn't taste but, very good. Again, I, I'm just telling you what people have told me. <laughs> A golden-haired dog playing in the Lavada. Dan and Amma jump into the Atlantic. At the moment, we are actually right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my god, this, uh, this is so refreshing. We're in Madeira and it's absolutely freezing. It's freezing. Oh, but it is so good. I'm so glad we're here. Further out to sea, with a rocky island rising out of the water. The camera dips underwater, showing the dark blue depths. A vibrant and green valley with houses scattered on the hillside. Day seven, the final Levada. So, our last day of walking in Madeira, and as you can see, I have upgraded my headwear a little bit still not the best look i'll admit but my ears are still fairly tender so i need to cover them up still looking forward to it walking one of the old lavadas again and there's some lovely lovely views down to the coast the valley rolls down to the coast as claire leads david along the lavada david feeling a terracotta roof tile some weight on them. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got a bit frightened then, didn't you? Yeah, it's somebody's house. How much it? does this cost? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Do I have to pay for it if yeah. I break it? The trickling Levada and a lizard basking on a rock. Dan guides Katrine with an inflatable banana. Right, so I'm with Katrine now and uh, Katrine, you've come up with a novel solution to guiding on narrow paths. Yeah, we found a banana. So it's we're now really we're using the banana as our guiding pole. And it's really cool. It's, it's really bad. cool. The it's only bad thing is that people kind of stare a bit. I know, it is a bit odd. I've never seen someone guided with a banana no. before. And people on the other side of the valley, they look across and they're like, that's a bunch of weirdos. A small religious shrine and Claire guides David with views of the valley far below. Right, we're a bit hairy here. Quite narrow, so tuck in. And you've got a bit of a drop on your left. Okay. And some stones. Narrow path, guys. Tuck yourself in. Tuck yourselves in. Dan and Amma. It's been a long way from where we began. But I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. And I see you again. Okay, so our last day of walking in Madeira. Dan, what we're we gonna do? I don't know. We'll just have to go walking. Dan, we'll have to go walking are you gonna when we miss get me? Home. Of course not. Um, we've come a long way. We have actually we've come a long way. We, we've uh, I've lost the skin off the top of my ears, but I've gained this rather fetching hat that I stole off my yes. ever willing VI. And 
um, despite the fact that I've got no hair, I sacrificed my hat for Dan. These are the kind of bonds that are formed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so I might have sunstroke, but um, you know I do it for my sight and yeah, bite. Exactly. Because it's um, all about compromise. That's what we say. It is. It's all about compromise. We as long as Dan's ears are as okay. Long, as long as I'm okay. Rolling clouds far below a Madeira mountain. Day eight. Goodbye to Madeira. On the coach, passing fountains and coastal views. At the airport. So, this is it, we're in Madeira Airport, just about to depart. It's been an amazing week in Madeira, I've really enjoyed it, uh, learned so much. And I feel like I've really learned about Madeira as well, having to describe and guide people around. It's really given me a different flavour of the island that I don't think I would have got if I'd just come on a normal trip. Uh, I've got some lovely souvenirs, some burnt ears, burnt nose, burnt legs, but nah, some great memories. It's been an amazing trip with an amazing group of people. And I look forward to the next one. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me on my Madeiran adventure with Travelize. If you would like any more information about Travelize, please visit their website at travelize-international.com or give the office a call on the numbers in the description. If you enjoyed this series, please like and subscribe to the channel for loads more great content. Thanks and see you next time. <laughs>